What's up, guys? You already know what it is. Chapter 4, High School Story Book 1. Let's get this. So where we left off, um, I'm pretty on sure the first day. every time, without fail, we leave that stupid volume on. Um, where we left off, Brian was about to get sucker punched by Caleb, I believe, because they were squaring off in homeroom. So we'll see who's the bigger man, who's going to take the punches. Can't take it anymore. And I'm just sitting there like, oh god, can't get in the can't get in the middle of this. Caleb grabs Brian by the collar and holds up his fist. Wanna say that again? Brian looks shocked for a moment. Then grins and punches Caleb in the stomach. He stumbles backwards. Oof. Thanks for being an easy shot. Oh no, you don't. Students crowd around as Brian and Caleb run and hits him in the jaw. Do I square up with him? I mean, like, if he was a real one, like, if he was honestly a real one, I would do that. I'm just going to pull Caleb away. Yeah, but if, if he was a real one, like, one of my homies, I, yeah. Yeah, I definitely would. Definitely would go at him. Vice principal standing there gets quiet. What are you doing? She gestures at you, Caleb, and Brian. Me? But come with me, Principal Hughes. Uh, we'll now, we'll know what to do with you. Is, yeah, so we got caught. Principal Hughes greets you with a warm smile. Good morning, children. How are you today? Principal Hughes, these three were fighting. <laughs> All right, take a seat. All three of you pull out a chair and sit down. An awkward silence fills the room. Okay, we're all going to take turns to talk about why you're here. So she's the, if you guys forgot, she's a kindergarten teacher, so she does not know how to punish people. Can you please tell us why you're here? I didn't do anything. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Brian and I were the ones fighting. He was only trying to stop us. Yeah, I, I definitely would say that. I didn't do anything. What you want me to say? I'm very disappointed in you children. Don't you remember the... Did she really just reference like a picture book? I don't even know that story. Now, normally I would take away your recess for a month, but we're trying a new tactic this year called positive recruitment. Three of you will be required to give back to the school by working with Maria Flores. Ooh. Ooh. I can feel you through the weather. It's not so bad. Wait till you see him in her final form. She's scary. So yeah, I know, but Taming of the Shrew, my guy. Taming of the Shrew. So when I were on homecoming committee, three you walk slowly back to class. Guess what? Keeps his eyes straight forward and doesn't say a word. My new girlfriend is your ex. It's been one day, my guy. <laughs> Brian is honestly galaxy brain right here. He's not on the same wavelength is the rest of humanity <laughs> no one understands how this guy thinks <laughs> there's always your girlfriend now on your surprise we've been hooking up for three yikes three months he has been get, he's been a cuck for three months my guy that's that's insane <laughs> you're lost brian is on a different wavelength i don't understand how this guy thinks no one does Thanks for up for me, Stone. Without you, all this would have been so much worse. You gonna be okay? Yes, but I have to cut Brian out. I should have cut Brian out a long time ago. Come on, let's go back to class. End of school. So we're at the homecoming committee. So there's Peyton, Autumn, and Sydney. Ooh, Sydney. Bro. Yo, if I could, Sydney would be there. Above everyone else. Right. Can't decide whether punishing... Oh, this is homecoming committees. You're genius or idiotic. I say idiotic. Anything else will be giving Hughes too much credit. At least it beats picking up trash on the side of the highway. I, did he go to juvie? I forget if he said. You're two minutes late. Oh, sorry. I had to take a bathroom stop. That's no excuse. I was just this close to reporting you tardy principal Hughes. <laughs> Look, I'll... Let it go this time because you're new, but don't let this happen again. Everyone, I like to meet Stone and Caleb, Mitchell. Not gonna lie, homecoming kind of sucks. <laughs> Cause um, my homecoming wasn't that great. I like this guy, he can stay. <laughs> Not gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. <laughs> or I am gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Anyway, it's where you feel that way. I hope the work on the committee will give you a fresh perspective. We'll see. Maria's like the stereotypical, uh, what's it called in anime? The girl like that's mean to you but actually likes you and then ends up warming up to you like at the end of the anime, like four seasons later. But nothing happens. 
uh, it starts with a T, like Sunder, Sundery, something like that, I don't know what it's called, but she's that, the equivalent of that in this book. I forget even what she asked. Mm -hmm. So we got to decorate the room pretty much right now. Um, on a retro rave, 90s retro rave, that could be kind of, I mean the 90s were kind of cool, I, I never was in the 90s, so I can't really say, but I, all I know is that there were some really nice cars that came out in the 90s. So I, I wouldn't be opposed to that option. Under the sea. So we get to choose. What does this one look like? Honestly, this is like the only... Yeah, this one's kind of cool. I kind of like the graffiti on the wall. Happily ever after and Under the Sea is kind of like little kid stuff. So let's do Retro Rave. So she's upset that I picked that one. Well, Maria, so we, pretty much, my strategy right now is she's on a level of craziness that needs to be kind of teared down, so we have to, like, break her stereotypical I get my way all the time approach, like, break her reality, and then she's gonna, you know, it's gonna work. So who do I work with? I don't care about him. Well, I do, but, like, no more fruit. I already picked some, so this is only what makes sense, obviously. One-on-one -on -one with Maria. Let's see what we got to say. Want to work with me? Absolutely. Maybe you can tape this to the ground. Sure. You rip a strip of masking tape and press it on the corner of the banner. Be gentle. We need to remove the tape later. I don't want to rip the paper. Right. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. You each take a paintbrush and get to work. So what do you think of the homecoming you've made so far? Certain <laughs> beats losing recess. <laughs> with that, she's a character. Uh, she must be, seeing as about her actually made Maria Flores laugh. Oh yes, laughing. I remember that. Maybe I should try that again sometime when I, I'm not too busy with AP classes. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. AP classes were not that hard. I, I'm just okay. Maybe at the time they were kind of challenging, but like looking back at it, AP classes were not that hard. Compared to like what was what is it the what was the actual kind of challenging was the IB I think IB actually kind of pushes students more so than AP classes I took like a total of eight or nine AP classes and that was all my junior and senior year like eight eight AP classes I think and the way I did it is that not the smartest but with with my school um. The AP uh, test, the final AP test, didn't apply to your final grade. I'm not sure if that's with every school, but it wasn't. That was the case with mine. So I would just get an A in the class and kind of not really care, care about the AP exam. So um, not the smartest thing because it didn't really help. Like looking forward, like actually getting those AP credits would have helped tremendously <laughs> in uh, college, my college career. Um, so not the smartest idea. So if you do take AP classes, you'd want to you want to do it the other way. Like, it's good to do better, or just do just do well in the class and then actually do well in the exam so you can get credit for it. Because I got I will get like an A in the class or something like that. For example, computer science, I got an A in the class and then like I didn't even study for the final and like got like a two. So, um, but again, I'm not a computer science major, so I don't I do coding like a little bit. For my, I'm biomedical engineering, so I do a little bit of stuff for that, but not too, too much. Uh, it would have helped for, like, English credits. I didn't take AP English. That was an offer. But, like, um, if I could take AP, the AP English exam, that would have been really helpful. Um, anyway, I wasn't reading any of that. Um, but I know that's a paid option, so I'll just go ahead and go for it. What was I saying? Um, but, yeah, I, back to what she was saying. AP classes aren't that hard, in all honesty. And the AP tests aren't that hard either. Compared to like what you were eventually gonna study, like it's a it's a breeze. Don't I know at the time if you're taking it, it seems like the worst thing possible. They're not that challenging. You can get through it pretty simply. Just study. Um, so we're we're getting milkshakes right now. Oh yeah, we're getting milkshakes for the group, not just one on one. Thank you so much for coming with me. I don't know what I would do without you. Ooh, we're on that level now. I'm happy to help. So Maria, you have a homecoming date yet? Are you asking me to go with you? I'd say that it's a little too soon for that. 
No, but what if I was? And I tell you that I'm very flattered, but far too busy for a relationship right now. I asked you to homecoming, not to freaking date me. I was just curious. I guess you could say I don't really do romance. Nothing wrong with that. So you usually go to homecoming by yourself then? No. That would look bad. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, there are plenty of single guys in the same boat. <laughs> we team up for the night. What about you? I bet you've got a real date before. I'm going to be honest. I didn't really... I'm, like Homecoming at my school was not something you brought a date to. Um, so I'll just, we just, you honestly just went with friends. Like you could, but it wasn't common. Like that was for prom. More, like you actually bring dates to like winter formal and prom were the big ones. Homecoming was honestly just a time to like party with friends in all honesty. School spirit wasn't, it wasn't time for date. It was, it was for fun. Gives you a warm smile. Well, a handsome, sweet guy like you should have no problem finding a date. So don't worry about it. That's what I'm asking you. Realize her hand has been resting on your shoulder and quickly pulls away. You laugh. Just not... Just not you because you're too busy for a relationship we're in right now. Exactly. Order pickup from Maria. Right here. I'm telling you, Maria's gonna ask me. She's gonna ask me. I have a feeling, bro. Lay, plant the seeds. Planting the seeds. Why would, like, I don't know who would give you some milkshakes. Like... You don't eat milkshakes just on their own. Like, a milkshake is strictly a dessert item. Like, that's not something you just snack on. In my personal opinion. Unless, like, it's like a late night snack. Or, like, an after, like, after meal type dessert snack. You don't just, like, in the middle of the day just buy a milkshake. And eat it by itself. That's not, like, no. That's, like, what you get a smoothie for. It's more refreshing. You know, you have that fruit in it. Wait. Okay. Anyway, moving on. That's what you get. Oh, I'll drop my phone. You get, um... That's what you get smoothies for, or like coffee, not not milkshakes. It's just it's just too thick, too substantial, and it's like it's, you're not gonna have a good time. It's not gonna it's not good for your for like the balance of just eating meals. It's, it's just not good. You don't do that. More copy and pasting of photos, and we just copy, put some hands around like we're holding it. Look at like look at Sydney in the corner, bro. She like, ooh, buddy. I wish we could talk to her, bro. I wish. I wish I would like that's the one thing. Pixelberry. If you're a little if you're watching this video, make it so like all the girls are at least love interests. I know that's a little bit hard for writing. I know it takes a little bit more time, but just just give us the option. Entertain us, you know. Give us the option to flirt with everyone. Because like yeah, the girls in here are nice, I guess, but like there's a lot of other ones that are just like, you know, you just wonder, you're just curious about it. It just be nice to have the option to, you know, experiment. What? Oh God! Why is she waiting in her car, Emma? Oh my! Oh, you simp, Emma, Emma, girl. Oh, boo boo! What are you doing? No! Can you hide for a minute? Maybe at your car? Okay. Why? You have a voice from behind you. She, Arsto right, Emma. Can I ask you something? Uh, sure. I um, I was wondering if you maybe want to, you know, um, go out sometime. With, you know, me. What? <laughs> Emma closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. I was wondering if you'd like to go out with me sometime. Ooh, Emma. That was a mistake. Ooh, ooh. I know that's not going to end well. Like, you already know the way it's set up. It's not going to end well. But, yeah, it's another episode, guys. Episode four, I think was. Yeah, episode four in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. Peace.